I spend a lot of time under a microscope. People are always watching everything that I'm doing, and sometimes it's super fun to have people pay attention to everything that you're doing, but at the same time, I'm just a normal kid. Let me do what I want to. I want to go out and break the rules. I want to go get in trouble. Last year I was jumping off the tram cables and making some illegal base jumps. I got a phone call from Jimmy King, the mountain manager at Squaw. And he said, Mike, we need to talk about some stuff. Because right now, you're never allowed back on Squaw property. And I said, well, can I set foot on your property to come over and plead my case? I was really honest with him. I basically was like, yeah, I've done it a bunch. So I'm not going to lie and, and tell you I've never done it. And he appreciated my honesty and, and decided to let me back onto the mountain. You're good to go, dude. Deal is you never jump it again and you try to deter other people from jumping it pretty hard to have the raddest base jump in the world in my backyard and not be allowed to hit it. <laughs> uh. I am good friends with Mike Wilson. We're at the W in the middle of the night and he wants to jump on the roof and you're a pity. I was pretty tempted to go with him too. He's telling me, he's like, yeah, we'll just hang it off and then you run over it. <laughs> he's like, I got two base rigs here. <laughs> So we're hanging out in a cave right now trying to hide from the federal cops. There's a plane ripping by that may or may not be cops. Since this jump is highly, highly illegal, we just can't risk getting busted. The jump off Angels Falls is definitely the highest thing on my bucket list, has been my whole life. I hopped on a plane with three of my good friends and a film crew and flew to Venezuela. I've been awake since 2 o'clock in the morning listening to the wind just howling. It was windy as hell and I was like, can't fly parachutes in this. I flew all the way to Venezuela and I'm going to get skunked. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Let's fire up the heli, go take a look at it anyway. At least I can look at the waterfall and see what it's going to be like the next time I come back. I was smart enough to take my parachute with me. We got out to the waterfall, the winds were calm. I brought my friend Jesse Hall, who is known as being the safest base jumper. When we got out to the waterfall, Jesse looked around, he said, the wind's not that bad, I think it's responsible, I think it's safe. Dude, what do you, I feel, I feel comfortable about this. The conditions. Yeah, me too. I think it's responsible. Well, I was like, let's get to the top right now then, let's do it. I find base jumping super relaxing and soulful. With other people, they're all like high-fiving each other, getting pumped up. I'm the opposite. I'm super low energy, mellow, relaxed, almost sedated. Try to keep everybody safe. It's not a safe landing out there. It's super dangerous. Tons of people break legs, break backs. I've heard multiple deaths from base jumping that site. I was like a kid in a candy store, man. I was the happiest kid in the world. Got to jump off the world tallest waterfall twice that afternoon. It was absolutely, hands down, the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. definitely have a little redneck in me and I've always wanted to drive in a demolition derby so for my 25th birthday I told one of my sponsors that I was going to go rent some cars 